Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda, I'm a Scentsy Consultant, and I'm a Total Wax Nerd. And today I'm gonna to share with you my first ever haul from Goose Creek. So I found out about them because Melanie from Bright House Scents did a video with a Goose Creek haul. Um, I guess they just recently started shipping to Canada for the first time. So she did an order, got a bunch of stuff on clearance and got some really good prices. So I decided to check them out and oh boy, I went hard. I got a bunch of stuff. I got some of their discounted stuff that they had for Christmas and I got a bunch of the seasonal spring and summer that was coming out. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I pretty much have these in alphabetical order here. Um, I have sniffed them when I bought them in March and they've just been sitting for about, eh, I don't know, four to six weeks and I haven't sniffed them since, um, except for a few, which I have actually warmed. Um, and so for the most part, unsniffed since then, unwarmed. And so these are cold sniffs. So I'm gonna start with the spring and summer and then last I've got the fall and winter ones kind of separate. So I'll do those last. So first up is Banana Cabana Beach. Nice little yellow. Well, that's actually more white, but it's got some cute artwork on the front. Mm, that's nice. It's like banana coconutty. Maybe a hint of pineapple. Mm, it's like a nice suntan lotion. Like, or a pina colada. Like you're just sitting on the beach sipping on a pina colada and you got some suntan lotion and the sun's shining down. Yeah, this is... This is nice. I just noticed my camera's all crooked. Let me fix that. Okay, but yeah, this is nice. I like this. This is a really nice summer scent. So that's Banana Cabana Beach. I will warm that probably in the bedrooms. Next is Blueberry Limeade. I wanted to see if there was a nice blueberry scent that I really liked. It's, I don't dislike blueberry, but it's not like one I seek out, but this sounded really nice. Blueberry Limeade, yummy. Mm, that's good. Yeah. You get, yeah, it smells like a blueberry. It smells almost more like a lemonade than a limeade to me, but it smells nice. It smells like a nice drink. Sweet, fruity, a little hint of sugar and tartness. So that's nice. I'll warm that in the kitchen this summer. Blueberry limeade. Next is brown sugar churros. It sounded really good. I love bakery and I never got a chance to try Sensi's churro churro. So I thought, Maybe this would be similar. Mmm, yum. Cinnamon sugar, kind of powdery. You get some dough. Mmm, yeah, that's really good. That smells just delicious. Ah, oh, it smells like you're at an amusement park or a fair and you're just picked one of these up and you're walking around munching on it and it just fills the air. On a wonderful spring and summer day. I like this. Mm, love it. Yeah, I'll warm this in my kitchen. I'm glad I got this. Brown sugar churros. Next up is butter cookie. I love to eat butter cookies. Thought it might smell really good. It smells nice. It's not super strong. But it smells kind of creamy vanilla. I'm not picking up a lot of butterness, but I get some like kind of shortbread from it. So this is nice. I hope it'll be stronger when it warms, but yeah, it smells good. I'll warm this in my kitchen. It smells really nice. And that is butter cookie. Okay, sorry, I had to take a quick break. I am back. Next up is butterscotch and marshmallow cream. Hmm, that's nice. Yeah, butterscotch, caramel. It's kind of mellow, not super strong. I bet it'll be a, one of those scents that's nice and strong when it's warm, though, and lasts a long time. It seems that with butterscotch scents in particular and those type, uh, like honey and stuff like that, maple, they really are thick in the air and they just like cling. They cling to the air, they cling to the surfaces, especially like curtains and bedding, and they just like hang around for a while after you warm them, I've noticed. I'm hoping butterscotch won't be as thick, but that's really nice. I like this. It's sweet. I'll warm this in the kitchen. I might save this for fall. That's marsh, wait, sorry. Butterscotch and marshmallow cream. Next up is cherry blossoms. 
very pretty art here nice and pink it's that time of year i love cherry blossoms i love the way they look they're just such beautiful trees and flowers and i like the smell mm. yeah it's nice it's powdery and sweet floral light just kind of floaty in the air this is nice i don't usually typically like super heavy florals but these night these nice ones that are kind of light i like them yeah, this is nice. This smells like something I would warm in the bedroom or the bathroom. And then honestly, it smells like something I would probably wear as a perfume. That's really nice. I'm glad I picked this up. So it's reflecting a lot of light. I don't know if you can read that, but this is cherry blossoms. Very nice. Perfect for spring. Next is drenched coconut. I love coconut. I had to get you know, I had to get at least a couple to try it out, the different versions, see what I like best. It's nice, nice, sweet coconut. Like a, kind of a coconut milk and sweet coconut, like almost like a shaved ice with coconut drizzle. That's what that smells like to me. Mmm, that's, that's really nice. I like this a lot. I could warm this in the kitchen or the bedroom or my son's room. I'm not sure which I'll do, maybe... I'll try all of them. This is really nice. I like this, drenched coconut. Perfect for the spring and summer. Next is farm stand melon. I believe this one had scent notes of cantaloupe. Yes, it does. That's why I bought it, because it had cantaloupe on the picture and in the scent notes, and I wanted to see if I would like it. Because I do love cantaloupe, but I'm, I'm not sure about in wax. So let's see, farm stand melon. I don't love this on, I don't love this on sniffing it. It's not that it smells bad. It's just not my kind of preference. It's sweet. It smells like maybe a, a cantaloupe that's not fully ripe. I almost get hints of honeydew in here, I think. And it almost smells a little bit like watermelon too, just hints, not strong, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Um, I'll worm this probably in my son's room to test it out because his room is really good for testing. Um, and it's, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. It might smell really great when it's worn, but on cold, it's not a melon scent that I'm loving or cantaloupe scent that I'm loving right off the bat. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll have that in a future what I've been warming video and let you know what I what I think. So farm stand melon. Okay, here is one that I sought out and I've actually already warmed it. Grape soda. And oh boy, it is a true grape soda. It is strong. It is long lasting. It's a great performer. It is sweet and grapey soda just like through and through. I got this because my son really likes the way that uh, his medicine tastes, like Benadryl and uh, Tylenol and stuff. He loves the grape. And since he likes the way it tastes, he likes the way it smells, I wanted to seek something out that would work. I tried Buzz Lightyear from Sensi and it was okay. That one read more laundry to me. A lot of people said it smelled, it smelled like grape soda to them. I gotta, I don't know, I guess I could kind of get that, but for me, I picked up more on the laundry, maybe because I'm kind of sensitive to those scents. They're not my favorite. I'm super particular about which linen laundry scents I like. So I was hoping for grape soda with Buzz Lightyear. It was more la uh, laundry to me. So I kept looking and yeah, this does it. If you like grape, try this. Oh yeah, it's so strong. It's so sweet. It's It smells like grape Jolly Ranchers, grape soda, grape, um, like the good grape chapstick, like Lip Smackers from, you know, back in the day. Mm, that is yummy. This is something I would probably only warm in my son's room, but I do enjoy it. This is a fun one. So that's grape soda. If you like grape, check it out. Next is homemade bread. I love the smell of bread, I love the taste of bread. I wanted to try this and get a nice good bread scent. 
Mm, that smells good. It okay. First, it you get sweetness. It smells more sweet than I thought it would. You get cinnamon and sugar, but then it kind of you get that bready scent, like as the base at the end there. Yeah, that's nice. I was hoping for more of like a, I guess a savory bread, but this is really nice homemade sweet bread. I will enjoy warming this in my kitchen. I think this is really nice. But the hunt continues for a nice authentic savory bread. Um, I know I like zucchini bread from L3. That is fantastic. But, um, you know, just kind of a straight up like baguette type of smell. So if anyone knows where I can find that, please tell me because I will, I will find it. I will go get it. I would love to try that. But yeah, this smells nice. Kitchen warm. Any time of the year, I think this would be good. Next up is homemade cherry pie. I love cherry pie and I really loved, oh gosh, what was it called? It was Scentsy's cherry holiday scent, Cherry Jubilee. So I wanted to find a nice cherry scent and I remember loving this on cold, or excuse me, on first sniff, I remember loving it. So let's see if I still love it as much as I did. Okay, it's not as strong actually as I remember when I first sniffed it, when it first arrived, but it's still nice. It's a good cherry scent. I'm not sure I'm picking up any pie crust, but it does smell like a sweet cherry. I don't know. It's just, it's not as strong as I remember it being, but it's nice. I will warm this in my kitchen. I think it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be somewhat close to Cherry's Jubilee. That one is in my club, but I only put one in. So if I can have something to use, you know, to alternate every now and again when I want a cherry scent, that would be nice. So we'll see how this goes on warm. Homemade cherry pie. Next up is Island Bliss. Beautiful picture. I want to go to there right now. Beautiful blue wax. This is one I loved on first sniff. And I hope I love it just as much. Yes. Oh, God, I love this one. This is like a lovely perfume that I actually have. And I brought it because I remembered how much it reminded me of it. I didn't know it was going to smell like this. This was a pleasant surprise. I just thought it sounded great. And when I smelled it, I was just like, oh my God. It smells just like one of my absolute favorite perfumes. This is Jasmine Rose from uh, Good Chemistry. I bought this a few years back now and it's no longer available. Um, I got it. I love this scent so much. I got it in body spray. I got a perfume and I got a roll on. But now it's, you know, like I said, it's been a few years. The smell's turned a bit. Like you're getting that kind of base note that's a little bit muskier and it's really strong and it's just not as nice to me as that lovely floral you get on the top notes. So now that the top notes have faded, I don't like wearing it as much because after, I don't know, an hour, you are you got that kind of heavy um, perfume muskiness that I don't like as much. Um, and unfortunately I can't get any fresh ones. So all that to say, I love this perfume. I love the scent and I love that this smells like it. I will be buying more of this for sure. Um, I don't remember what the scent notes were supposed to be, but what I get is like that Jasmine Rose floral scent that I get from the perfume. And maybe a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little hint of coconut or something. Mm, it smells great. I'm going to warm this in my bedroom. I'm really excited. This is something I would warm year round, but this will definitely be great in the summer. So yeah, can't wait. I'm really excited to see how these scents compare. I just have to sniff it. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, that's Island Bliss. Smells like Jasmine Rose to me. And I love that. Next up is one I've actually already warmed. I bought one and then I found it at Walmart and I bought another one because I knew from smelling it on cold um, at my first sniff that I loved the smell and I wanted more. So I've already warmed an entire package of this in my kitchen a while 
um, I don't know, a few weeks back. I wore the entire thing. I did it like, I don't know, I think, so there's six triangle keeps in here. I did one in each, two of my big warmers. And then the next day or the day after I did it again, cause I just couldn't get enough of the scent. I just wanted to keep it going. So I just went ahead and used up the whole dang thing over the course of a few days and it was glorious. It smelled key limey, cakey, delicious. I loved it. So I'm glad I have another one. I will definitely be getting more of these. So this is key lime cake pop. Mm, so good, my mouth is kind of watering. Just thinking about it. Got some kind of dark coloring on the bottom. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, you get the sweet tart key lime and sweet lemony kind of a cake inside. God, this is fan. Oh gosh, this is a this is fantastic. I love this. If you like key lime, if you like cake, oh, I highly recommend it. Check this out. This is fantastic key lime cake pop. I love it. I warmed that in my kitchen. I think I said that. Great for the kitchen, but honestly, I'd probably warm that in any room because I like it. I like it a lot. Next up is Lilac Garden. I love the smell of lilac, so basically anytime I see someone offering lilac, I order it. I have to. I just want to compare. You know, each one's a, I don't know, a lot of them are mostly kind of the same is what I'm finding. But I just, I can't help myself. I want to order one lilac from everywhere and see if there's one I love more than the other. Um, so far, they seem fairly interchangeable. But if I had to choose, I would say right now my favorite is from the ones I've warmed and sniffed on cold is Scentsy's Lilacs and Violets, which is in my club and which I've already worn this season. Yep, Lilac Garden, nice, gentle, sweet, floral. Well, maybe, I don't know, sweet, is sweet the right word? Lovely lilac, lovely lilac smell. If you like lilac, you'll like this. It smells really nice. This is a bedroom or bathroom melt for me, Lilac Garden, very nice. Next up is Lush Getaway. Fun, art, pretty purple. This seems like a summer scent. I forget what it smells like. Mmm, ooh, that is good. That is sweet and fruity and tropical. I don't remember the scent notes, but to me I'm picking up like maybe pineapple, orange, coconut or something this smells like all the tropical fruits and like a hint of floral kind of wafting around in the background like you are on a lush getaway and this is just what the air is thick with it smells great mm, i like this i will warm this in the bedroom this summer that is really nice i like it lush getaway get yourself next is mahogany driftwood pretty peaceful artwork Kind of a gray. Mm, okay, this is a nice masculine, warm, woodsy, driftwood kind of scent. It's got the gray wax. It's got a little hint of like salty sea air. This is nice. I don't typically prefer masculine scents, but I do like the smell of driftwood, so I wanted to check this one out. It smells good. It's like refreshing and warm and kind of sexy. This would be something I would put in the bathroom, but this smells really nice. Yeah, so yeah, this would be a good one for a bathroom for me. I think this is nice. I, I don't know if I'd end up buying it again, but we will see after I warm it. So that is mahogany driftwood next is marshmallow sugar wanted to see how sweet this could be it's not as sweet as i would think but it is nice marshmallow sugar it smells kind of like a like angel food cake or um like lemon meringue pie cake top or you know that like kind of fluffy white lemon meringue that's kind of what it reminds me of without the lemon just the sweet peaks of the cream all whipped up and shape. That smells nice. 
I could warm this anywhere, but this will probably be a kitchen warm. I feel like this would be good by itself, but yeah, I could see mixing this with something to sweep it up. Marshmallow sugar, very nice. More marshmallow scents. This one's just straight up marshmallows. I had to get both to see how they compared. This one is similar, but lighter, less, less uh, sugar forward sweet, but it is nice. Uh, it's just on the second step, I can hardly smell it. I think I'm going a little nose blind to it, but marshmallows, it's nice and light. We'll see how it warms. Probably again, nice on its own, but probably a great mixer. And here we have Pina Colada. Fun art, very summery. Okay, yeah, this one's um, pineapple, coconut. Um, what is that? There's some kind of a tropical fruit I cannot place that's like a little more kind of sharp. I'm not sure what it is. This is nice. Let's see what's on the cover. Um, pineapples. Okay, so pina colada. I guess it smells like a pina colada. Yeah. Very pineapple forward. Hint of coconut. That's what I smell. It's nice. I'll smell that, or excuse me, I'll warm that in my kitchen this summer. It smells nice. Next we have pink sands. I love the Yankee Candle pink sands, so I thought better try Goose Creek, see how they compare. I always love the artwork. I want to go to that beach. I want to walk in pink sand. And I love the pink wax. It smells nice. It smells a lot like Yankee Candles Pink Sands. Yeah, sweet and kind of floral and beachy. Really nice. I will warm this in the bedroom or the bathroom. This will be really good this summer as well. So that's nice. Pink Sands. I'm curious how it compares to Yankees. Next is Pink Pineapple and Papaya. That's nice and fruity. This isn't a scent that I would typically prefer, but this is something that I will warm this summer to try out in the kitchen, see if I like it. I'm not sure if it's the papaya that maybe I don't actually love the scent of. It's, again, it's not bad, it's nice. It's just not my, my preference. Something I would reach for. Um, most often, but it's all right. So yeah, it must be the papaya. I don't know what pink pineapple smells like. I don't know, is that a thing? Pink pineapple and papaya, warm with the summer and see. Okay, so we've made it through the first um, bin and now we're moving on to the second. Here we have red, white, and blue. This is supposed to smell like those bomb pops had to try it. Who doesn't love those bomb pops? They're so good. And I figured if nothing else, I'd warm it at 4th of July and it would be a fun, patriotic, you know, scent to warm and a nice summery scent that my son would like. Mmm, and it is sweet and it smells like the popsicle. Oh, that smells so good. I really like this one. Yeah, it smells like the bomb pops, especially the, the blue and the white. You don't get the, like the cherry from that top the red top, but you do get the white and the blue layers of that popsicle. Yes, this is bomb pop. That is really nice. I am going to enjoy that. I will probably save it for summertime and 4th of July, maybe Memorial Day too, actually. Um, but yeah, these are really nice. Very summery, fun, sweet scent. I could warm this in my son's room, but I think I'll probably do this in the kitchen so we can uh, really all get to enjoy it. So that's red, white, and blue. Next is Sand Castles. That smells nice. I think this isn't supposed to be kind of like a coconut, um, coconut boom boom type-ish scent, and I believe that's why I got it. The scent notes reminded me of what's listed on that. So I had to try it. It's nice, it's light. I get just like a gentle kind of coconut suntan lotion type of smell. So yeah, that's good. I will warm it in my 
bedroom sometime this summer. Hopefully it'll perform more strongly than it is cold here in, uh, you know, in the clay I'm here, but it smells nice. That is sandcastles. Next we have soothing coconut. All the coconuts. Okay, this is probably my least favorite of the coconut scents that I've smelled here. I don't get so much coconut as much as whatever scent that is in here, um, which I cannot place and I don't remember what the scent notes are, but I don't know. It smells like there's some sort of a tropical-ish fruit that's blended in here and that's what I'm picking up on, so I don't know. It's all right. I'll warm it in my bedroom or I don't know, maybe my kitchen. We'll see. Soothing coconut. Next is Stormfront. I was really excited about this one. I love rain. I love rainstorms. I love thunderstorms. I love the way it, I just love the feeling of it. I love the smell in the air before, during, after. I just love it. It's great. So I wanted a wax that encompassed that type of scent. It's a nice gray stormy color. I'm excited. Let's see. And if you know of any good rainstorm thunderstorm scents that are available, please tell me. I will look for them. I know Scentsy made some a while back. They're no longer available. I'd love to try them if I could um, or if there's other brands. But yeah, any type of rainstorm scent, I'm going to try it if I hear about it. So yeah, let me know if you've got one for me. And I'm going to see if I like this. Hopefully I do. Hmm, that's nice and kind of sweet. I cannot place what this is, but it's almost like kind of a sweet floral. Like it's a, a rain that's fallen on flowers in your garden. And it's just uh, like the beginning as a storm's rolling in. So you're getting the raindrops on the flowers and the wind's blowing and it smells great, but you haven't got the rain yet. Yeah, this smells really nice. I'm gonna warm that very soon. This is the time of year that we get this type of weather in particular, spring and summer. So I will warm this in the bedroom. Yeah, this is, I, I'm really liking this. So that is Stormfront. Next is Strawberry Daiquiri. Who doesn't love a good strawberry daiquiri? Virgin or not, I'll take it. It smells amazing and tastes amazing. Oh, and this one's good. Oh, it's sweet, sweet strawberry. Oh, wow. It's like, oh, wow. This is really good. This is like my favorite kind of strawberry. It smells to me really, somehow it's a mix of like strawberries, actual real strawberries and the strawberry glaze that you can buy at the store and like the best kind of strawberry candy with like a little bit of creaminess. Like, do you guys remember those strawberry cream hard candies that they used to make like, I don't know, 10 some odd years ago? They were really popular for a while and I haven't seen them in a long time, but oh, those were good. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Oh, I like this. If you like strawberry, you might like this one, strawberry daiquiri. I love this. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to go in my kitchen and I'm not going to wait. I'm going to warn this um, as soon as possible. Strawberry daiquiri. Love it. Next is strawberry shortcake. Strawberry cake. See how they mix. This one's okay. I don't like it as much as strawberry daiquiri. The strawberry's not as strong, but it is sweet and it is nice. I pick up on some sugar. I don't know that I get any cake yet. But yeah, that's nice. I will try this in my kitchen. Um, hopefully it's stronger. But yeah, it does smell nice. Strawberry shortcake, kitchen warm. That'll be nice this spring. Next was kind of a wild card. Um, typically I don't like necessarily love tropical fruits, 
but I want to try everything. And so when I saw sugared guava, I wanted to try it and see what guava smells like. It's pretty green. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's good. It's sweet and I guess guava-y, if you know what guava smells like. It's just like a nice little tropical fruit scent. It's it's nice and mellow. It's not going to punch you in the face or be offensive. I think this is going to be a really nice summertime kitchen warm. Yeah, that's good. I don't pick up anything else except for that, that guava note, but sugar guava. Next is Summer Moon. Pretty blue. This one is kind of like a kind of a almost cologne -y scent, but it's nice. It's kind of smooth and hint of perfuminess, powdery. I don't know what the scent notes are, but this is definitely a, I will probably do this one in the bathroom. This one is very nice, but I think this might be too much for me in the bedroom. I think we'll do this in the bathroom. This does smell good. I'm very curious what it'll smell like on warm, if it's gonna be, be too much, but Summer Moon, very nice. Next is Sunday Drive. I cannot remember the scent notes. I picked this up at uh, the store. Actually, this is a mix of stuff I got at Walmart and stuff I ordered from online. Um, most of it was online. Some I just picked up at Walmart and mixed them together here, so. But I got them right around the same time. Everything was in March. This is nice and light. I mean, it smells kind of like, if, I mean, it's well named. I cannot tell you what the scent notes are. I cannot place them. But it does smell like a nice, like, spring afternoon Sunday drive. You get, like, hints of kind of florals and air and earth. But it's just nice and light and pleasant. Just like a Sunday drive should be. So, that's Sunday drive. Next is Sunlit Sands. This one I think was supposed to be a coconutty too. It is. Yeah, that's nice. This is like a nice um, coconutty suntan lotion or sunblock. Maybe a perfume. Mm, there's something about it that's like a little hint of sweetness. Almost, like almost edible, but maybe it's just kind of that association I have with when you go to the pool or the beach or whatever, wherever you go swimming, and then you've been out for a while, you start to get hungry, and then you can smell that, this smell in the air from everyone wearing sunscreen, and then you get hungry, and there's something delicious nearby, and it makes you want whatever it is. That's kind of what this evokes for me, if that makes any sense. That's really nice. Sunlit sands, I will do this in my bedroom. I think this will be lovely this summer. We are getting close to the end. There's like, I don't know, 10 to 15 more at, at my glance here. 10 to 15 more and then we're done. This has been a big haul. So if you're still watching, thanks for watching. This is a long one. I got a bunch, like I said. I went hard on Goose Creek. Okay, this is Sunset Sparkle, pretty pink. Cannot get this open, there. Mm, this is a nice, like, uh, perfume scent. Something I would want to wear. This is something I'd wear, uh, or excuse me, warm in my bedroom. Bathroom too, but I think this would be really good in the bedroom. It's just romantic and floral, light, floral. And kind of like amber, musk type of, you know, perfumey scent. It's really lovely. I like this a lot. It's just a sweet, uh, floral, kind of soft, romantic scent. Looking forward to warming that in the bedroom soon. Sunset Sparkle. Next is Volcanic Sunrise. What is that? Mmm, this is fruity and sweet. I feel like there's maybe some berry like maybe cherry or something I can't remember the scent notes that were listed for this but it smells like 
some kind of red berry mix maybe and maybe some tropical notes yeah that's really good very sweet and fruity almost kind of fruit punchy almost to me so this will be one I will warm in I'm gonna spill it again yeah it's like a fruit punch to me this is really nice I will warm that in the kitchen this spring and summer and I think that'll be really nice and my son is really into volcanoes lately so this was part of the reason I bought it um, I thought he'd think it was cool that there was a volcano on it. I wanted to show it to him and he loves to smell my wax. So I thought he would like that too. And it smells great. I thought by the scent notes it would be in. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Volcanic Sunrise. Next is Warm and Welcome. Just nice, cozy looking scent. And from what I recall, it was nice, cozy smelling too. Mm, yeah, it is. It's like warm and sweet and... I think there's some vanilla and like maybe some cashmere, a hint of woodsiness. This makes me think of fall, like early fall, but oh wow, this would be good year round. This would be just a great scent to have throughout your house all year long, but I will probably warm this in the bedroom. I really think this was a good one. I like this. I can't wait to warm this, warm and welcome. I love those type of cozy scents any time of the year. Next is Watermelon Lemonade. Thought this would be fun for the summertime. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice watermelon, sweet and juicy, sugary. You get a little bit of tartness from the lemon. Mmm, yeah, that's really nice. Sweet and refreshing, fruity. This will be great in the kitchen this summer. Watermelon lemonade. Last of um, the melts before we get to the Christmas and fall ones. This is warm donut sugar. Sounds delicious. Mm, and it is, yes, sugary, sweet, baked, or fried, I don't know, donuts for sure. It's just like that donut that's covered totally in sugar the way it smells when you walk into a donut shop. This smells great. Very delicious. I'm going to warm this. Oh, and vanilla too. Ooh, that's, that's good. I'll warm this in my kitchen. This will be great in the mornings, on the weekends in particular. So that's going to be perfect for that. Warm donut sugar. I like it. Okay, I have basically one fall scent and then the rest are Christmas. This one is First Autumn Frost. It looks so beautiful. I love that time of year. Oh, that's good. It's like sweet. Um, like, I think pine tree, maybe spruce. It's like a mix of lovely wintry tree smell and like sweetness in the air, fall leaves. Oh, that is great. Balsam, I think. Maybe some amber. Oh, that is fantastic. Gosh, I love this so much. This is probably one I'd want to warm like right away and uh, melt year round. But I will probably go ahead and save this for when we start getting those nips of cold air um, in the early fall. Oh, this will be perfect. I will pick up more of these if I can. If I see these, I will definitely get more because I just, I know I'm going to love it. It smells great. If you love fall scents that are kind of um, earthy, woodsy, kind of sweet fall time scent, like an outdoor day, this is it. This is great. I would advise picking this up. I think you'll like it. That is first autumn frost. Next, getting into the Christmas scents. This is cookie butter snowball. There were some that I wanted to get that were sold out. So I just, you know, it was clearance. They were like $3, I think. So I got what was available. There were some I really wanted. I can't remember what they were now, but they were gone. But what can you do? I got some, I think, good ones. This one is Cookie Butter Snowball. Mm, this smells nice. Yeah, it smells like sweet cookies. Kind of a sugar cookie. Yeah, just a nice pleasant sugar cookie scent. I'll warm this in the kitchen. 
I don't know this needs to be a winter scent, but I'll probably save it for winter. And that is Cookie Butter Snowball. Next is Decorating the Tree. Love the art. Gets me in the mood for Christmas again. I love that. I love the way it looks. So cute. Mm, and this is a good tree scent. Yeah, this smells nice. It's just like a... Uh, yeah, mainly tree. I'm not... I'm picking up on some other like kind of gentle note and I cannot place what it is right now. But this is a great, nice tree scent. It's not super strong or sharp. It's a pleasant, gentle one. This would be perfect for, you know, that time of year, winter, Christmas, decorating the tree. I will probably warm this you know what, I want to actually maybe warm this in the kitchen, even though I typically don't warm that type of scent in there. But the Christmas tree is in the living room and it's right by the kitchen. So yeah, I might warm this in that area. Otherwise, this would be great in the bedroom or the bathroom. Decorating the tree. Next is Snowball Fight. Again, super cute. Super fun and cozy. Ooh, interesting. This one's kind of fruity. You wouldn't think it because the name and the art and the blue wax, but I pick up like a sweet cranberry pomegranate. Yeah, something like that. Cranberry, pomegranate, fruitiness. There's definitely like a berry. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's great. Very unexpected. <laughs> but very nice. That is a, a really lovely fruity scent. I don't know that this is, I mean, honestly, this is something I think you could warm year round, but I'm guessing there's some other notes that come out when you're warmer that make it more of a Christmassy scent. So I will save this for winter. I am looking forward to that. That is great. Very excited about this one. That is Snowball Fight. Next is Snowman Cookie. Why are they all going to be so cute? Seriously. That's fine. It's nice. It smells like a cookie. There's nothing like maybe some, I don't know, hint of maybe slight hint of gingerbread or nutmeg. But it smells really nice. I will save this for the kitchen this winter. Just smells like a really nice kind of cookie scent. Nothing blowing my mind right now, but it is nice. It's always nice to have the scent of cookies warming in the kitchen, especially in the winter. So, snowman, cookie, just three left. All right, tree cutting. Super cute, green wax. Oh, nice. This is a blend of tree scent. Mm, like a nice Christmas tree and mint. They blend perfectly. They're like evenly balanced. You don't get one more than the other. Oh, that's lovely. There's like a hint of something else too. Maybe like a little pop of cranberry or something. Mm, oh, I love this. I will get more of this if I see it. This smells great. Tree cutting. Wow. I want to I want to warm this now and I might warm this soon but I will save I'll maybe warm like one or two cubes just to test it because wow it smells so good um I love these type of scents but I will probably then try to save the rest of it for winter because oh gosh it'll be even better then at that time of year and yes I will definitely pick up more if I see this it smells great my type of scent tree cutting lovely Next is um, Wild Mint and Birch. It's from, I guess, their aromatherapy line. Love that kind of abstract, pretty art on the front. Now, so this one isn't necessarily a Christmas scent, but for me, I, rem I think I put it in with the Christmas, because for me, I decided it was maybe more of a scent I'd want to smell in the winter. Um, I'm gonna smell it again and see what I think. But yeah, I like the name, I like the art aromatherapy interesting I think this is the only one that's from that that notes that it's like an aromatherapy one mm, that's nice it's cracked but I I don't know if it arrived like that or I did that 
That's nice. It's nice and minty, but it's light. It's kind of like a gentle mint with the birch. It's kind of light, but I hope when it warms, it'll get stronger. Oh, shoot. I dropped a bit. I'll have to find that and put it back in. Um, I don't like to lose little chunks. Yeah, I might not wait for winter. I might pull this out and warm it sooner. It reminds me just a little bit of Melting Memories Birch and Buttercream. This one, though, isn't as strong, on cold at least. It's not as strong as hers. Um, and it doesn't have that buttercream note. I love her Birch and Buttercream. It's so good. Uh, next time I can, I'm going to order the biggest size I can of Melting Memories Birch and Buttercream. It's fantastic. Um, and that was partly the reason I wanted to try this. I thought it might be sort of similar. So yeah, it's nice, light, minty, birchy, kind of sweet, but not buttercream. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of vanilla, but that's really nice. I'm excited to try this. I will warm this in the bedroom and yeah, probably soon. And then we'll see if it's something that I want to put away for winter or keep around year round. So that's wild mint and birch. Last but not least, finally made it to the end. There were so many, so many here. This one is called Wonderland. Nice snowy day, it looks like. Pretty blue, light blue wax. Oh, this one's cracked too, and a chunk. Oh, that's good. Sweet, minty, maybe a hint of cookie. Not like meant to be merry, but like a cousin of meant to be merry. It doesn't have as much of the strong cookie note, uh, that nice little kind of shortbread cookie note that's in that one, or the mintiness isn't quite the same, but yeah, this is like a cousin to that. This is good, Wonderland. I don't know if it arrived like this or I broke it, but I don't care, this smells great. I really like this. I would pick up more of this if I saw it. I do have Mint to be Merry in my club, but you can never have enough. I love this type of scent year round and especially in cold weather in the winter. So yeah, I like this a lot. I will look for this and try to get more if I can. This is Wonderland and I might warm this one soon to test it out and then save the rest for winter. So there we go, Wonderland. And that does it. We finally made it <laughs> through all the Goose Creek I got. I got uh, so much, but they are fairly reasonably priced. They were like anywhere from three to five dollars, I think. So um, I, I just, there were so many I wanted to try. I just went hard and got so many of them. But anyway, I'm glad I did. I think I got some good ones. It'll last me for a while as I work through them and hopefully I'll find some favorites I'll want to keep getting again if they're available. So that's it. If you've tried Goose Creek, please let me know. Have you tried Goose Creek? Have you tried these scents? What do you think of them? Are there any other ones I should look out for in the future? Because I will take your notes and I would appreciate them. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye!